Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Shadow Severan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, let's try to continue our uh, Visual Basic uh, programming. This will be part four, okay? So let me open the project. Okay, so this is my first program. So let's try to put some decoration in our uh, program, okay? Now, as you can see here, this will be our uh, graphical user interface. So what we will do, we'll try to make it more, uh, a little bit uh, fancier, okay? Okay, sorry. Let's try to make it more, as I said, fancier. Going to do is add, okay? Now actually you can add some image in your control, okay? So let's see if we can add some image here. Uh, where is the image property? Let's look. Okay, so this is the image property here. Okay, now you can, uh, what you call this one, you can download some free images from the internet. Okay, import. Okay, so let me just uh, go up to my folder for this. Uh, okay, so. I have some ready-made folder here. Okay, so this one is for my plus open. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can. Okay. Now I guess we need to make the object a little bit bigger. Okay. Then this one, let's uh, the image also. Let's put some image there. Okay. Now, uh, okay, import, uh, this one is for subtract, which is our minus, where is my minus, this one, okay. Okay, and subtract. Okay, so let me remove the text property, delete. Okay, then this one for my multiply, let me change also some. Let me put an image there. Okay, now beforehand, you need to look for some, uh, let's multiply some free images from the internet. Then you can uh, add it. Okay, so let me remove this one. Okay, so that is multiply. This is not a very good uh, symbol. So we will look for, uh, different, uh, we will look for different free image from the internet. Oh, it's so big. Okay, we will see. Okay, now I think uh, first let's change this one. Uh, let's look for, uh, what you call this one, let me look for so we will change the, that is multiply, multiply free image. Okay, so always look for free image so that you can share it with your. Okay, so maybe I can use this one. Okay, this one, let's save this one. Save or cut, save image as. Okay, this one. Uh, Multiply, save, yes, let's see if, okay, so let me change the symbol there, okay. wait a minute, just give me some import, but it's the same thing, but why, maybe the image is so big, okay. I think the image is so big, okay. Okay, now maybe we can do something to change. Okay, middle. Okay, then. Okay, now the, the image is so big, it won't fit in here. Okay, so that's the problem then. The image is so big, it won't fit in here, okay. So anyway, uh, let's first remove the image here, okay? So we 
image. Okay. Now actually cancel. So here you can delete it. Okay. Then also delete this one because we don't have a suitable image. Okay. So I will just put here. Okay. Now, anyway, I've just shown you how you are going to add image to your uh, control like the bottom okay so let's just use this one later maybe i will try to put some image there okay now here a uh, clear and close i can also put some image there okay so let me put an image here okay then i have to import it then i need to go to my other uh, personal files okay now uh, i have here an exit i guess and one okay i have an exit here okay maybe this is yeah i can use this one anyway uh exit clear i have also a clear here then let's see where is my exit i have an exit here okay maybe i will use this one okay okay again maybe i need Okay, the image is so big again. Okay, anyway, uh, let me change it. The image again, let me change the image. Okay, uh, I need to use a smaller one. I need to use the smaller one. Okay, I need, I think I have here an exit, which is, where's my exit here? Okay, so let me just exit, where's my exit? Exit, where are you? Okay, where is it? Just bear with me. I'm looking for my, uh, maybe this one. I will use this one. Okay, okay. Okay, so I will remove the text so it will not be displayed then. Okay, so that is my close. Okay, then clear. I have also clear image there. I have seen one clear image there. So let me just put it. Okay, I want to import it clear. I think I have seen maybe this one. Let's look for a little bit smaller one. We'll see. Okay, now I don't think it's the good image there. Anyway. Uh, let's look for another image here, okay. okay. Where is my clear button? Okay, clear. Maybe this one. I'm just going to use any image, okay? Okay, so clear. Now, may you can also the text alignment, text align middle. Okay, now maybe you can put it here. Okay, clear. Okay, these are the, uh, if you want to put some image, okay. Now let's try to complete this one. Image, where is my image here? Okay. Let's say, yeah, okay, image. Okay, I think I've seen one small image. Uh, Ah, wait, let's change this. Import, I think I've seen a small multiplication there. Okay, maybe this one, I can use this. Okay, okay then let's remove the... Okay, so I have plus, minus, divide. Okay, now divide. Okay, I don't think I have the... Okay, anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so this will be our, uh, let's say 67, 58 plus, okay, again, it's doing the same thing, minus, multiply, then divide, okay, send clear, okay, exit, okay. So guys, uh, that is how you are going to put some image in your uh, control, like the buttons, okay. Then maybe you want to change also the background. Okay, then you can change the back color here. So you can go to the web or system or custom. Then you can select 
for the appropriate okay that is yellow i don't like that yellow okay lemon okay let's use this one then let's see if we can use the same here okay now we have okay lemon chiffon okay then this one let's give emphasis to this so back color guys i'm just showing you how you can play with the uh <clears throat> So this is how you can play with your controls by changing some of its properties, okay? So this will be our uh, part four of this tutorial, how to uh, put some images or how to uh, make your application more, uh, you know, make it more, uh, look more fancy here, okay? So uh, this is how to uh, do the four arithmetic operation, okay? So once again, if you are new to my channel, please uh, help me promote it by subscribing, like, share, and put your comment. Again, this is for beginners. This is not for expert in computer programming. As I said, if you are a graduate of engineering course, then uh, except for computer engineers, other engineering course, you have a very less exposure in computer programming. So this one will give you an idea or this one will improve your skills when it comes to programming. Why I'm including it in my BMS uh, tutorial? Because as a BMS engineer, you will be doing some programming, okay? Now, if you have a good background on computer programming, then you will not be having difficulty in control logic programming, okay? Just like what I'm showing in my video, the Menta programming, then you already have uh, background in computer programming, then you can use that background in your control logic programming. Okay, so once again, before I will end this tutorial, uh, I always say God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.